Gaming YouTube B3 back another kicking action figure review. Today we have another Force Awakens Star Wars 6 inch black series figure and it is the X-Wing pilot Asti. I think I'm pronouncing his name right. I'm going to show you his name on the box just in case. Right there obviously. I don't know why I'm showing you the box because it's going to actually be in the title of the video. But whatever. Yeah, I thought he was a cool looking character. And I kind of wanted more resistance people and I just got him because he was a real interesting looking resistance fighter. Yeah, I didn't really want the X-Wing flight suit Poe because I have the regular Poe. But I didn't get this guy. I think this guy looks really, really cool, really interesting. And I don't have uh, really any alien six-inch figures from Star Wars. Whoops, there goes his, <laughs> there goes his helmet. So yeah, but uh, I, I picked up this guy so I could have an alien because everyone I have is human as far as I, I know. As far as I can remember, everyone I have is pretty human. So, yeah, that is that. But uh, he is a really cool looking figure. I'm going to show him to you guys right now. He does come with some accessories. The helmet, obviously, as you see, I might have to use some hot water to bend it into a good shape. But, you know, it sits right on his head pretty well. Actually, I'll bring him closer so you can see. Uh, quite a good fit. Very snug. But I don't feel like it'll scrape or anything, so... Quite, quite nice actually. And then he comes with this blaster as well, just a little blaster so that he's not empty handed, you know, since he obviously doesn't come with an X-Wing. That would be expensive if he came with a full scale ship. You can get a TIE Fighter pilot with a full scale TIE Fighter though. It'll cost like 200 bucks, but you can do it. Uh, but he is quite cool. Uh, I like his orange jumpsuit. He has this kind of holding hand right here is what it seems to be, kind of a holding hand. I guess that is so he can kind of hold other things and also that pose of him in the helmet is the pose he's in in the box so I thought it looked pretty good but yeah I'm gonna take his helmet off to show you some detail and paint he has a really cool head sculpt I noticed him in the background in the movie because I saw the figure online first when they announced the release of it and then I noticed him in the movie and I was like hey there's a figure of him obviously so yeah real nice look he's got the you know, ridges down the arms, like on Poe's regular jacket. You know, his regular kind of just X-wing garb. Pretty cool. You got this tube connecting to the leg, but it really doesn't seem to hinder articulation much, except for back. But it can't go that far back anyway, so that's fine. Uh, he actually looks quite cool. He's got lots of great paint detail all over him, as you can see. He painted up on the back. Uh, very nice uh, looking figure. Really, really cool. Uh, yeah, but that doesn't hinder the leg much, but it does maybe hinder the torso a little, as you can see. Uh, but the torso doesn't move much, so it doesn't hinder it much. But there is a tiny bit of hindrance. No real side-to-side -side hindrance unless you're trying to go that way. That way is pretty easy, but there's obviously going to be a little bit of hindrance, but it's not as much as you would really think, honestly, at least in my opinion. And you got in and out on the arms, forward and back. You got this elbow bend. Could be a little better, but whatever. And you got rotation, you got rotation on the wrist also, and you got in and out, as you can see. And you got the head side to side, up and down just a tiny little bit, but not really enough to really count, honestly. Uh, in and out on the legs, it's kind of, you know, he's got a lot of hindering going on. But, you know, that's just what the flight suit looks like, so that's that. But you see all that leg movement, like the double knee bend, up and down on the foot here, as you can see. And also an ankle pivot. So yeah, that's that. Up and down on the foot would be better if it didn't hit the uh, pants leg, though. So yeah, articulation could be better. It's just hindered a good bit, but, you know, not to the point where it's like, ugh. But to a point where it's like, you know what, um, I can deal with it because I know that it's for a reason. So yeah, let's get to some size comparisons. Here's some other Force Awakens 6 inch black series figures. Got a Target exclusive Poe Dammer on here on the left. And here on the right we have Kylo Ren, and I think he scales up great with both of them. And here is some Imperial figures. We have Darth Vader here on the left, and the Imperial Shock Trooper here on the right. I think they scale up great together as well. And so what are my final thoughts on X-Wing Pilot Asti from the 6-inch Star Wars Black series? Well, he's a really, really cool figure. I really dig him. Um, articulation could be a little better, but other than that, he's actually quite awesome. So I'm going to give him 4 out of 5 stars. I think he really deserves it, and uh, I'm very happy to have him in my collection. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching this review. Got more Star Wars reviews coming up, as well as Marvel Legends, DC, 
Ultraman, Godzilla, Gamera, Power Rangers, etc. You guys name it, I'll review it. So that's it. Thank you all so much, and I'll see you all later.